Hello and welcome to Smart Plant Construction. The purpose of this particular movie is to emphasize the systems integration aspects of Smart Plant Construction to allow you to bring in engineering schematics data correlated with your three-dimensional model data and of course be able to do materials, supply chain and management, uh, both forecasts and reservations uh, of the materials themselves. And uh, up front, of course, at the beginning of the work process, you will have integration with your Primavera P6. And on the back end, Smart Plant Construction will generate reports that allow you to, to uh, export those reports and import those into Primavera. Uh, and of course, the fabricated piping and fabricated steel interfaces that exist within Smart Plant Construction will allow you to bring in the details of the fabrication uh, of those particular disciplines. And from that smart plant construction will provide an easy to use interface for work package planning uh, to allow you to add content uh, to the packages via various filters and statuses and visualization techniques and drag and drop those into packages and subsequently be able to do material forecasts and reservations and of course animate those over time in a 4D uh, animation. So what we'll do now is we'll, we'll move away and, and, and actually get into the product now uh, to show these aspects uh, within the product itself. So what you see here is the home page for Smart Plant Construction, the work packaging environment will be where you create, maintain, and track progress uh, your work packages uh, over time uh, in the various disciplines that will make up the plant. Uh, you will have be able to populate those uh, from a couple of different paradigms, uh, from drawings uh, to allow you to access particular drawings uh, to populate that, they being isometrics or PNIDs or structural drawings, etc. Uh, and also from the three-dimensional model to allow you to access a 3D model to be able to navigate and filter that model very quickly. But one of the things we want to talk about today is the integration and correlation aspects between uh, your, your 2D drawings from a schematic perspective. So I will display here a typical P&ID uh, that you may see on a project and you can see there's equipment, uh, pumps, etc. called out on this particular P&ID. Uh, you can retrieve those into the system. You can have correlated with that uh, the, the particular isometrics uh, that may be correlated to the, to the actual components themselves. So you'll see here that I'm selecting a particular uh, spool within a, uh, a P&ID and I can immediately jump to the isometric and see that in the isometric quickly because these have been uh, correlated and integrated together and retrieved into smart plant construction. And this is a three-way type of a correlation. Not only you correlate it back to the PNID itself on a component basis, but also to the model. So you'll be able to jump to that particular item uh, directly in the model and be able to see that. And then you'll be able to package from that and have that content uh, automatically added. So what we'll do here is create a quick uh, installation work package and we'll call it uh, correlated and integrated into the system. And we'll assign that to a parent construction work package uh, via our integration with Primavera. So you'll have that integration tied in immediately by making that assignment during the creation of your installation work packages. And we'll save that off to the system now and you can see we have our dashboard for our particular package. But what this allows us to do uh, at this point, we'll back up here just a little bit and activate uh, one of our selection rules uh, to select uh, by various components, assemblies, or drawings themselves. In this case, we'll select by uh, spool and then we'll actually select on this particular item and you'll see it highlights that particular spool that we've shown that's correlated uh, to the isometric itself and to the PNID. And I'm going to go ahead and select on that 
and drag and drop that into my package. A smart plan construction will realize what that is. It'll realize that integrated associativity and correlation. It will place that component into the package and retrieve the drawings and do the calculated man hours. So now when we go over to the installation work package itself, we will see the spool drawing, which you, we saw a minute ago, that's correlated in fact to your PNID at the component level and how those automatically added to your packages as you choose, along with other key documents uh, that you may want to associate with the particular packages can automatically be added. So one of the key aspects of the integration of smart plant construction is your integration between your 3D model and the components within those and your drawings, both your isometric drawings and your PNIDs. Thank you.